Okay, so we are starting a new chapter and our essential question for chapter five is how can I multiply by a two digit number? So we've been working with multiplication. So now we're gonna start working on multiplying a two digit number times a two digit number, okay? And so I want everyone to be on page 279, and that's where we're going to start today, okay? So our lesson is multiply by tens, okay? And we did this when we did two digit times one digit, we multiplied by tens, and we're going to be doing the same thing. So let's look at example one and make sure you're doing cubes. It says Miss Rita took 20 pictures, so we're going to circle the 20 at the zoo. She printed the picture so that each, that's a math action word, of her 25 students could have a copy. How many pictures did Miss Rita print? So she took 20 pictures. She printed the picture so each of the 25 students could have a copy. And then we underline how many pictures did Miss Rita print. So our, we're doing 25 times 20, okay? The number 20 is a multiple of 10. How do we know the tw number 20 is a multiple of 10? Number three? You can count by tens. You can count by tens. And also it, four? 10 times two. Okay, 10 times two. And it also it ends in a zero. Okay, so we know it's a multiple of 10 because it ends in a zero. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Can't even talk. Okay, so think of 20 as, what did you say? 10 times two. 10 times two, or we're gonna do two times 10. Okay, so what we're doing, just like we did before, we're basically taking 20 and we're breaking it into two times 10. Now, do you remember when we talked about distributive property last um, week or the week before? <coughs> Thank you. So that's what we're doing is we're distributing it and we're gonna do 25 times two. What's 25 times two? 12? 50. 50, which is right here. And then we're gonna take it and multiply it by 10. So what's 50 times 10? 60. Now remember, we take five times one. What's five times one? Five. Now it's where it gets a little different. How many zeros do I have? Two. One. Two. Two. Is it one or two? Two. two. So we're going to add two zeros here. Yep. Nope. So we use the associative property of multiplication where we grouped 25 times 2. We grouped those together and then multiplied by 10. Okay? Is everyone with me on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the first one we did was we broke it down. Another way, they, they say use paper pencil, okay? And so um, you're gonna do zero times this whole thing. Zero times 25. What's zero times any number? Zero. Zero. Okay, so zero ones times 25 is zero. Okay? Now, this only works when you're multiplying by a, a multiple of, of 10, okay? So we basically did the zero times everything, and then we can go to the next place, to the tens place. And so now we're going to multiply two tens times 25, okay? Now, we can do this a couple ways. I know this is zero. We can do two times five, 
What's two times five? Number 11. 10. 10. So we put a zero and we carry the one. So what we're taking, what we learned last week. And then two times two. Four. Four. And then we have to add the one in there. Five. So it's 50 tens. And then once you combine it, it is 500. So how many, how many pictures did Miss Rita print? Number six, 500. Is that good with everyone? Yes. Okay, so we use the associative property and then we just use paper pencil, okay? All right, so let's look at another example, example two, which is on page 280, is that correct? Yes. Okay. An electronic store has 30 digital music players in stock that cost $99 each. So our cube says circle the number, okay? Underline the question. So the question is how much do the digital music players cost all together? And then box in math action words. And we boxed in each, and I'm gonna box in all together. Okay, so that lets me know we're going to do what? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. Multiply. multiply. All right, so we're doing 99 times 30, okay? So whenever you're multiplying by ten, a multiple of tens, always put that on the bottom because you want that zero to be in that bottom right-hand corner, okay? So zero, times 99, what's zero times 99, or zero times any number? Zero. zero. So there's a zero. Okay, then we have three times 99, okay? Now, most of us don't know what three times 99 is in our head, do we? So we can do it like this. I'm going to put this zero in here because that's my filler in. And I'm going to do three times nine. Number one, three times nine. 27. 27. So I'm going to put the seven there and I'm going to carry the two. Then I'm going to do three times nine again, which is number one? Um, 27. 27. And then plus two? 29. 29. Okay, so three tens times 99 is 297 tens, which is this, right? And then we have our zero from when we did zero ones times 99. So our answer is 2,970, and they already have your dollar sign for you, dollars. Is everyone good with that? No, you're not? <laughs> All right. So let's look at a couple practice problems together. Okay? So the zero has to be in that bottom right hand corner, which it is. Okay? So we have zero times everything up top. What's zero times? anything zero. zero so we're going to put our zero right there and then we're going to go over to the tens place and we're going to do one times six what's one times six number eleven six six one times three number three 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 so our answer is three hundred sixty Does that make sense to everyone? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do another one. So zero times everything up top, zero. zero. Then we're gonna skip to the tens place and do three times three, three, times three nine. nine, and three times five. 
15. And make sure you put your comma there, 1,590. Does anyone have any questions so far? All right, I'm gonna stop there.